The goal of force science has always been to bring the behavioral sciences to officer-involved use of force. We are particularly interested in the human being, particularly the human being behind the instrument in a time of crisis. And that is a critical issue. We, we have focused the vast majority of almost 40 years of research on that particular issue. I first became involved in investigating officer-involved shootings and use of force in 1975. I did, however, start riding in squad cars and observing police officers and their tactics and process in 1968. But in 1976, I was involved in one of the most dramatic hostage situations in Canadian history. That was almost a year after I had started investigating officer-involved use of deadly force. And in that situation, a full-blown psychopathic, diagnosed psychopathic paranoid off his medication had shot one officer, shot and killed one officer, wounded two others, hit four hostage sites, trading hostages, guns, ammunition, and finally ended up in a doctor's residence with access to guns, drugs, ammunition, and determined to stay there until his requests were granted. Now, Ottawa decided that it had been negotiated out, and I was called upon to assist in the negotiations. I pulled together a think tank at the University of Manitoba, I consulted with my uh, clinical supervisor at the time, who was Dr. Harry Prozen, chairperson of the Acadian Psychiatric Association and chairperson of the Department of Psychiatry at the University of Manitoba. I asked Harry, I said, Harry, what do we got in this situation? What do you think about this situation? He said, if I didn't get that guy out within three days, three and a half maximum, he'd kill himself and kill everybody. In the middle of that, with officers on the operating table and recovering and officers in the morgue, I made a commitment that if I could, I would try to work to prevent this happening ever again. Now, I know that's impossible, but I dedicated my life to trying to make this stop and the performance of officers better so that they could survive situations like this much more effectively than these officers did.